are there any plans for vehicles or weapon packs for the classified line? Yes. And <laughs> <laughs> we need to make them right. And we need to study as to how we will create them. Uh, so we 100% want to make the vamp. We want to make the stinger. We, we want to make the off striker. We want to make trouble bubbles. I think it's just a matter of how and what is the right offering to everyone, right? So it's like we got to come up with kind of our strategy and structure of how we're going to do it. Yeah, six inch scale is it has proven over the years has proven tough with vehicles like in general, because once you, people don't realize that like the scale of a six inch vehicle, it's it's very big, even yeah. even a small vehicle like going you know into the world of Star Wars, like something like Ray's speeder from the, the, the sequel trilogy. I mean, it's a small vehicle, all things considered. And then you see it on the shelf and you're like, whoa, yeah, <laughs> it takes up the space of where there would probably be four figures. Yeah. Right. So it's like it, it, there's a lot of things to consider, not just when I say strategic, it sounds like it's all business, but it's like strategic of like, how are people going to get the stuff and then how are they going to curate their own collections? So it's like we got to kind of consider that. And that's why we launch with a bike because there is precedent for bikes. Uh, people yep. collect bikes and it's something that people know and understand and then how to have it in their collections. So uh, that's where the new character, as we like to say, vehicles are characters. Um, the coil was born, right? Because we did consider, we considered a lot of the old school vehicles and we saw it as an opportunity to get a new Joe or a new Cobra into the line, right? So it was a good way to kind of like study and understand uh, where we could take vehicles for Joe. But it's definitely, it's such a part of GI Joe. The vehicles are such a part of GI Joe that we would be doing a disservice if we didn't get to it. It's just a matter of getting to it correctly. Yeah, that that I mean, that's the one thing where when I saw initially going back to the the original announcement of the classified line, the first thing I started thinking of was like, oh, they're going to make the flag for the, the six inch line. That's that's going to be one. <laughs> they're going to make a scale flag, right? That's if, that's when it, that's what's going to come out. And it'll it'll be my dining room table. That'll if be you <laughs> made a scale flag, the flag was seven point eight, seven feet, eight inches long. The original flag. That means that six inch figures are not exactly, actually, they're not exactly double the size of a three and three quarter inch, but that flag would be what, maybe 15 feet long <laughs> <laughs> and it's classified, right? So it's like, we got to go all in. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. <laughs> like if we're going to make that thing, uh, I think I would probably, two things could happen. One, I might go super saiyan. <laughs> The other one would be I would probably turn into like an underdark beast and just disappear from existence because <laughs> of the amount that it would have to go into that thing. <laughs> so so when the next HasLab is announced and it's the flag, I'll know where to find you. That's <laughs> yeah. And when I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I recently and I say recently again, but before you know when we were allowed to go out and see people, I went to mm -hmm. a toy show here in in New Jersey. And uh, wait, you're in Jersey? Yeah, I'm from Jersey too. You know, when I could hear it, I can he hear it the, in your accent. I'm like, this guy, he says, we Jersey right now. <laughs> we, we we can smell our own. It's, yeah. it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It's so true. So I, I went to the the Wayne, New Jersey uh, toy show uh, cool. again, going going back a few months, and some and somebody had a a mint. I mean, it was out of box, but it was a mint flag set oh, up wow. like for sale, and they still had the box, but they they had it fully assembled on the table with like Joe's set up on it and vehicles, and it was the first time. You know, my brother is is seven years my senior, mm -hmm. but it was the first time either of us had ever seen it in person. But just seeing it was amazing. And yeah, they're just trying to wrap your brain around a, one for the, the classified scale. I, I can't. Yeah, you know? it would be. I'm like, I'm like in. I'm like looking at my room that I'm in right now and I'm like, <laughs> it would be as it would be almost as long as this room. <laughs> it would be epic. Like oh, we, yeah. we, we muse about it a lot. Like, we're like, dude, how could we do that? I'm like, can you imagine the panels? Could you imagine, like, 
we'd have to go to a real, a real aircraft carrier. Like we, cause I believe that's what they did originally when they made it, they went and they checked out real aircraft carrier. I'm not exactly sure which one, but like the amount of research, it's like a Stanley Kubrick movie. You got to go in there and take pictures of the doorknobs. Yep. You know <laughs> what, what I could see is if, if, you know, once, once the, uh, you know, the world kind of opens back up again, that would make a killer like Toy Fair or San Diego Comic Con like display piece. Those oh, custom yeah. like you know, here's the the GI Joe part of the the booth, and here's the one off flag that we made for the display. And you get the Night Raven coming to take it out. It'd be awesome. <laughs> Listen, I'm here for all the ideas. You just <laughs> you know how to find me now. 